What's going on, Skeleton Warriors? Bals Phoenix here, and today Ubisoft released For Honor's first holiday event, the Feast of the Otherworld. This is a Halloween-themed event with Skeleton Warrior minions, a new game mode, and new cosmetics, and it's all for a limited time, with some exceptions. Now, we'll get into that here in a second, but first you should know that this event runs from October 19th, which is today, the time of this video, until November 2nd, so you've got around two weeks to experience this content. So what does Feast of the Otherworld offer? Well, for starters, there's a few new Halloween-themed cosmetics with more to be released next week. The first of those cosmetics I want to talk about are the long-awaited masks, which, in my opinion, look pretty freaking awesome, and these will be available forever. One thing to note, though, is that masks are currently 15,000 steel during the event, and after the event takes place, they will go up to a whopping 20,000 steel making them the most expensive cosmetic item in For Honor history. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but there it is. Aside from the masks, though, we're also getting a new elite outfit next week in this amazing werewolf free roam emote. Now, the werewolf emote and, I believe, the elite outfit are only available during the event. Once it's over, you can't get them anymore, so I highly suggest saving your steel for those of you that have to choose, because if playing a game long term has taught me anything, it's that having exclusive cosmetics is pretty much the best thing ever. Anyway, cosmetics aside, we've also got a new game mode for the event as well, called Endless March. This is basically an alternative way to play Dominion, and the first thing you'll notice is that the minions got a bit of a reskin, or a de-skin if you will. Oh. Aside from that, Endless March's point gain and objective capture works a little different from Dominion. When you capture a zone, it only gives your team soft points, which means if the enemy captures it back, you'll immediately lose those points. Killing minions and killing enemy players gives hard points and is the main way to win here, but there is one thing that makes this mode a little more challenging. Not only have the minions taken on the spooky appearance, they've also gained a massive damage buff. Minion hits now do 14 damage each, so if you jump into the fray like normal, you can pretty much expect to die almost instantly, so be careful when clearing these guys out. I do really like the strategy for this mode though, it's a nice fresh take on Dominion and Fighting in the minion lane now pretty much means you've got to fight under your minions for quick enemy kills and you really need to keep in mind where your own horde is in relation to your enemies. So in short, don't chase the other team into their minion horde. You are going to die. All in all though, I think it's a really cool event. I love it when games do holiday themed stuff and it reminds me of when I used to play World of Warcraft and they had that Halloween event in their game as well. I do feel like the cosmetics are a bit on the pricey side, but honestly, when are they not? Anyway, if you found this video helpful, leave a like down below, and if you're new here, get subscribed for more ongoing For Honor coverage, and don't forget to click the bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you never miss a new video. Until next time, though, I'm Bows Phoenix. I'll see you at the next one, and as always, thank you so much for watching.